again, we are projecting that Katie Hobbs is going to uh, win that governor's race over Carrie Lake. Joining me now, perfect guest for this, Stan Barnes, an Arizona-based Republican strategist, former state legislator there, who's been personal friends with Carrie Lake for 20 years. Stan, welcome uh, to the show. Really appreciate you coming on. All right, so so what happens now? I mean, you're obviously joining us in this breaking news environment. We didn't know we were going to get the final you know, call, so to speak, as you were coming on the air. Do you expect that Carrie Lake is going to concede? Hi, Dan. It's very good to be with you. Appreciate your program. You've been deadly accurate so far in your lead up. Uh, I can tell you from the ground here on Arizona. And the short answer is no. I don't think my friend Carrie Lake will concede tonight. Uh, I don't think she'll concede tomorrow. I think she's going to wait until there's this moment of completion. We're almost there. And, and the math is all against her. I don't know how she possibly rescues it at this point. But if you've given two years of your life and all that passion, you might forgive her for not just immediately falling over on this thing. She's going to wait until there's a moment of, of declaration that all the votes are counted. And then I believe she will be gracious and diplomatic and concede. And I think that's fair, right? The idea that, you know, she doesn't have to run out the minute the, the networks declare that she has lost and say, oh, oh, you know, I have to catch it tonight uh, because the networks have declared that she's lost. But as you point out, she doesn't have the numbers. It's going to be a foregone conclusion. And I have to say that it is encouraging to hear you say that you think at some point in the next whatever it is, few days, that if things continue the way that they appear to be going with it not a particularly close finale, and I say not particularly close, it is close, but it's not even as close as it was between Biden and Trump in 2020, um, not even as close as that, that you believe that Carrie Lake will in the near future concede, correct? I do. I do. And I think it's, Dan, it's because um, Carrie Lake has found politics, and politics has found Carrie Lake. I, I believe this is the beginning for her. Uh, this, this woman is the most natural, connecting, energetic, articulate, attractive candidate for governor in Arizona in all my 30 years of being involved in this. And I say that not only as her personal friend, but just from a detached point of view, the woman has skills and she connects with people. Now she's carrying around the burden of of the, the 2020 election and her opinion that it was stolen or corrupted. And evidently, uh, uh, most Arizonans, by some narrow margin, don't believe that. But beyond that point, this, this will not be the last stop for her. I believe she will diplomatically and graciously step aside once the numbers uh, crowd the field and, and, it's, and it's there for all to see. But I believe she's going to find a way, in, meaning that she's going to be relevant, she's going to be interested in, in, in another office, She's going to be a national figure because she's, she's got all that going on. Well, let me ask you, as we're continuing the breaking news coverage of the latest numbers in from Arizona, which indicate, according to Decision HQ and others, that Katie Hobbs will be the next governor of the state of Arizona. Um, and we're talking uh, to Stan Barnes, a longtime friend of, of Carrie Lake's. You know, you mentioned that she believes the 2020 election was stolen or corrupted. Do you actually believe she believes that or is she really because we're going to be doing a segment later on in the show about how many of the election deniers are conceding the elections, which I think is a good thing. I think that the left leaning media vastly overstated the threats to democracy, et cetera. Right. Um, but, you know, Carrie Lake has been sort of one of the, the leaders in this movement, continually talking about how the election was stolen, making unfounded claims about ballots and this and that. I and mean, you think she really believes all this stuff? I do. It's a, it's a common question I get as someone who knows her from people in the world of politics and beyond. Is this really Carrie Lake uh, authentically or is she acting? And I'm telling you, she's authentic. She, she believes in what she's saying. And, and she believes it so much that instead of winning the primary and becoming somebody different or pivoting, as consultants might say, she just kept right on the same vibration, the same tenor, the same, the same message. She believes what she's saying, and she believes the 2020 election was stolen in some fashion, not only in Maricopa County, but in other parts of the United States. And so I, I, I don't think she's going to change a bit. The, the time to change would have been 
when you're seeking votes in the general election. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.